Well, today is a, an important day to be on site. The structure is starting to uh, be erected, as you can see. Uh, we have precast as well as structural steel going up. Um, you know, for a majority of the project so far, it's been a lot of site work, getting a lot of utilities roughed in. But uh, today, you can see some of the things actually going vertical, which is always great. A big part of uh, what we do on site as well. Um, being more on the architecture side, working with mechanical, electrical engineers uh, and structural, we also try to keep our eyes open for uh, making sure things are being coordinated. Being on site on these weekly construction meetings allows us the opportunity to make sure that all of these construction either changes or directions are uh, clearly communicated to everyone in a timely manner, that way they can plan for it. The other thing that you'll notice today being on site is the sequence of construction. Uh, they're starting on the north side of the building by the auto service area. They're working their way around and then they're going to be heading on the west side. One thing they had to do was erect the precast panels that are on the interior side of the building. They have to do that first, obviously, because then that will allow them to have space to start erecting the panels on the exterior. Uh, the other thing is that by going along the west side, once the panels get past a certain point, then we can backfill and then we can install the electrical systems, the generator, the transformers. And so the sequence of how this thing goes up is also very crucial because uh, the construction schedule is very important and to make sure that it's done in such an efficient way will make sure that the project keeps moving forward. This is the retail building, which in this project, that's the most time sensitive. So we're concentrating our efforts here initially. Once this building is up, the structure is up, then we'll move along to the car wash in this case, on this project. Uh, and so absolutely there's a priority in terms of what goes up first, and so we have to tailor our project schedule based on that. So this is our car wash and gas hut uh, building. We have uh, three bay car wash. In each bay, the water, excess water that drains off the car um, runs down the drain and it runs into a sand interceptor, which is these the two concrete structures in the back there. And then we also have grease interceptors uh, up here, these black structures that uh, will take any chemicals or any of that out of the water as well. When we get our mechanical room up and running, we'll have uh, pumps, pump benches that will serve each of the bays and uh, it will suck and provide water to each system for rinse water um, for each car wash. The reclaim system is kind of a new feature that Mills has been um, investing in and, and uh, saves them obviously on their water bills. It's been a good relationship working with RICO to, to develop this and, and over the years um, come up with the, the most efficient system. Fleet Farm stores are constructed with cast in place foundations, precast load bearing exterior walls, and open web bar joists and joist girder roof system. Uh, it provides a lot of wide open spaces inside the stores, keeps the column area small, and gives them a good area for setting up racking and things like that to sell their products. We've been using a precast system for the mills for several years now. We found that it's a a very good product for their stores. It's a very durable product. It looks nice. It's uh, very fast for erecting. WSN has been working with Fleet Farm providing structural services for over 30 years now. We've done a lot of the stores in Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, and North Dakota. For the fleet farms, we typically try to get out to the site uh, during the construction, uh, depending on how things are going. We have our own people on site daily, so that helps a lot, so we don't need to really be on site as often. And by doing the same general structures time after time, our field people are very well versed in it. 
Sometimes they'll have a question, typically a very easy, they shoot a photograph, send it back to me, and that saves us from making more, you know, frequent visits. We're currently working on getting the building enclosed. We're, we're getting really close here. Um, we still have quite a few things left that uh, need to fall into place here yet. We have uh, concrete slabs around the build, perimeter of the building. Um, all of our windows and doors will be uh, going in uh, shortly here. Um, you can see the silo is currently going up. Um, that'll be getting enclosed here in the next month or so. And, uh, and then our entrance area, um, some of our finishes, EFIS, signage, will all be going on here um, in the next couple weeks.